Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and this is the day 28 of the service portal training. In this day we will talk about that uh, create our own theme. So what is theme and how we can create our own theme in our service portal. So this is the portal that we are building uh, some of the pages last few days and then you can see that uh, there are a few menus available. And if I go back to the portal name, if you see that PT is portal training at that moment. Now if I go back to the left navigation and then if we search with the service portal under this portal if I open this portals you can see right now by default I am using the large Ola theme so portal training PT I am using the large Ola theme which is out of box themes that uh, you can see right now so this uh, large Ola theme is already predefined and out of box so um, uh, we are going to use our own theme so for that what I'll do I'll remove this large hole and then save that so at that moment there is no theme I'm just um, not putting anything and let's see what is happening so if we don't put anything uh, any theme on that um, our portal and if we refresh that we'll be able to see that all the header menu gone okay so there is no header menu at that moment uh, if we are not using anything so basically theme create a container that can hold the menu okay now what i'll do i am going to create a new theme for uh, my case i'm going to click the new button and here i am putting that uh, portal uh, training okay or maybe pt and save that so this is my tra uh, uh, theme that i have created and then save that once we save that these themes the custom theme that i have created and refresh and let's see that our the, our header came back or not it did not came back and remember uh, you can see that the color also got changes so it was in white color right now the color got changed all this approved reject color all this color got changed right now now what we'll do here uh, we are going to uh, open the theme right now and see uh, what else we need to do in the theme so if we open the theme under this theme, we have a header and footer, and then we have a checkbox called fixed header and fixed footer. So if we open that, or if we click the glass icon, you can see, so it is pointing a table called sp underscore header footer. And these have all these header and then footer. You can see all these header and footer is available under here. So if I move that, you can see total 10 widgets are there and you can select any of these um, uh, um, widgets. So basically this header and footer is nothing but it's a uh, widget. And if I search with that header and I can select that stock header at that moment and simply save that. Once we save that, you will be able to see that um, if I refresh our uh, page, port, uh, home page, you will be able to see uh, that all the menu came back. So basically, that theme, um, I mean the theme uh, which we have created another theme, we have a header and header creates these blocks for us and from the menu, these menus are coming. Now if you see here, when I am scrolling this page, the header is static because we have checked this fixed header. If you uncheck and then save that, this won't be fixed anymore. It will be, you know, um, you can see that you can see it is going uh, away based on that. So basically based on your requirement, you can decide that, uh, you know, what header or what feet, uh, footer you needed. Now we'll talk about the branding editor. So if we go back to the service portal configuration, under this configuration, uh, you can see the branding editor. You can click that branding editor. And under this, you can go to the theme. And here uh, you can change your color based on the primary and text color. So before you update that, make sure you are in that correct uh, portal. So you can see this is the por all the portal we have select. We can select that. So make sure that you are in the correct portal. So if you update that, it can affect uh, other portal. So you should select the correct portal and then you should update any of this property. And when you update that, where it will be stored, uh, that I will also show. So if you go back to the portals and if you open this portal training, the CSS variable at that moment is blank. Now, when we update that branding editor, all these CSS variable will be updated here. If we, let's say that text color, you can see this all are text color, and then you can, we can change that color to this one to black maybe, okay? And once we save that, 
all this color got changed to the black right now you can see and if we refresh our page so you can see it got updated with the black one now if we change that color to red and let's see what is happening so if we change this color to text color to red let's say i'm putting this one and if we refresh that you can see all this text color got changed to the red color so basically using the branding editor you can define that theme color you can see you can select the theme called red or what then what should be the success color what should be the primary and uh, what should be that um, success color all this you can define here uh, there will be couple of uh, there is the one section called css variable under this css variable couple of variables got created so what these variables are so these variables are is nothing but it is coming from this i mean whenever we change that theme uh, theme color or anything we change that and save that this variable will be updated okay so let's say that i am going to change this text color red to again black and save that so once i mean once it is saved here the, you can see the css variable got automatically changed so basically these value are coming from the css variable okay now this css variable can be used over any of these our widget or any of these our pages okay so let's understand how we can use that okay for that what i'll do i'll go back to the theme and here you can either i mean css variable can be declared under portal or maybe the theme wherever is needed so if you declare the basically uh, the theme is the one place that can be connect multiple theme i mean multiple portal can be used a single theme similarly one portal have multiple pages so either you declare this css variable under theme or maybe uh, under this portal wherever you need it so i am going to um going to declare one variable under this theme so let's talk about that how we can declare a variable to declare a variable simply you need to put the dollar and then you need to put that uh, variable properties or variable color or any style that you want to put that so let's say that i'm putting the text a uh, custom one all color and then here i am saying that um, um, green okay so this variable i have declared so this uh, this variable i have declared and now i can use this variable over all these widgets four or five widget and uh, to change the color or to switch the color i just simply update this value and it will be uh, update all this widget let let me show you that so let's go back here so we created uh, one page called this is the page called my task page and then you can see we have created i think this um, broadcast page everywhere we have created right and then you can see each and every cases this color got red because our uh, you know branding editor portals we have defined the color equal to uh, red okay so wherever we are using the text everywhere the color got changed to the red color so we can just go back here and then directly update that even so text color we can say that um, just black Okay, either you put the color code or you can define that uh, simple text called black and then if we refresh that all the places wherever the text is getting used will be automatically changed so that is the uh, you know um, benefit of the css variable let's say that i am using uh, let's say i'm going to use this uh, color this property that i have created theme color to two widget and then two widget if i change here it will automatically update there so let's see let's say that this header number i am just going to update uh, this color or somewhere in the css variable you can see i can declare some css let's say uh, here i am going to put that call um, or maybe th and then here i can put that color so let's say i am putting that color equal to um, blue okay so all this th or uh, table header will be blue color i am just defining okay so now if we refresh that all this table header got changes to the blue now instead of this directly here we can use the variable that we have created either in this from that um here call um portal or maybe from the thing wherever we need it so let's say i'm going to use from here so i'll copy that and paste here and simply save that so this theme 
or these uh, this color uh, can be implemented or you can see if I refresh here it will be changed that to green and if I just update this color to red here it automatically update wherever this wherever this is this table header is getting used so you can see if I update that every place is this um, this will be automatically updated okay so I can say that black whatever color I I'll, I'll put that each and every time it will be automatically updated so that is the benefit of the variable CSS variable so this variable can be used across the places all these uh, widgets wherever you need it and based on this use cases or based on this used uh, you know it will be implement or it will be impact um, all the all the across the widget okay now similarly if we go back to the theme under the themes we have a CSS include and JS include so if you want to add additional JavaScript or CSS you can add that so let's say I'm going to uh, create a new CSS so I'll click that new and then here it will say that PT1 maybe uh, my CSS name and here I need to define the style sheet so I'll say that uh, um, here call PT2 or something like that so here I'll say that PT style and save that and submit that so now what will be happen we created a style sheet for the theme so we can create a style sheet for particular themes and their themes or that style sheet can be updated and uh, used across this portal so if you need your own styling for across the uh, portal you can I mean so this is your theme and under these themes you declare I declare one uh, style sheet call if I scroll down I created a style sheet called uh, uh, PT1 and under this PT1 I have created a style sheet here I can uh, define any CSS uh, if I need to be updated let's say that I am removing that here so here um, by default whatever the theme color will be I mean th color will be uh, taken here so let's say that you can see all these um, color got reverted back and it is showing right now black color now in this case we can declare or we can update here also in in the theme here let's say that color and then I am saying that green here okay so similar way we can create our own style sheet and that style sheet can be attached uh, to the theme and then that it will be affect all our uh, portal you can see all this table header got automatically updated to the green so either you use, use the CSS variable if you need or else you can create a style sheet and from the style sheet you can affect your all these related portals and widgets so in this case uh, we talk about the what is the branding editor well, we talk about the CSS variable we talk about theme and CSS we talk about that uh, style sheet and then uh, if you see here we will talk about that menu so if we uh, already talk about that so if we go back to the portals under these portals we have a themes and then this themes is creating the container right so uh, you can create own, your own header widget so if I open this header widget this is the out of box header widget in case if you want to clone your uh, out of box widget uh, you can clone that I will just open that header widget now if you open that you can see this header is nothing but uh, this is a header and footer and then this is nothing but a basically a widget and in case if you want to customize anything you can clone these widgets and then uh, simply click the clone widget and it will create a clone widget and you can modify that the out of box widgets benefit is that time to time they have updated the service now updated if you customize anything service now won't provide any support in future so that's the another thing so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day